Time right now is 808. It was more than three years ago when 11 year old Jacob Wetterling was kidnapped at gunpoint and later murdered. His case captured the country's attention and for some, it changed the way they raised their children. Now his mother, Patty, has released a book about the search for her son and what it was like for her. Patty and co-author Joy Baker are joining us right now here in studio to talk about this part of their book tour. Thank you ladies for being here this morning. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I think for many of us who've been in the news business for a long time, we have followed this story, Patty, of Jacob, you know, nationwide, obviously, capturing our hearts. And here you are decades later. Um, I imagine the pain is not necessarily gone, just different. It's very different. Last Saturday was Jacob's birthday, and um, I, I still shake my head, like, what happened? How can this happen? He was abducted at gunpoint half mile from our house and it's it's very troubling very scary and um, the entire community and nation rallied so we wanted to write the book as a somewhat healing mm -hmm. process and and to provide hope for s still searching parents and I know for you that's been your mission is making sure no other family ever experiences this kind of pain it's interesting how you and Joy actually met. Joy, maybe you can pick up the story of how you got involved in helping to write this book and really be a part of Patty's Live and eventually finding Jacob's killer. Yeah, it's an amazing story. And really, I was, I was just trying to be a writer. I was a professional marketing person at the time. Mm -hmm. I'd started a blog just to kind of get that hobby going. And I picked up the story about Jacob Wetterling because as a mom, I thought, well, maybe if I if I gave some spotlight to this story, maybe it might help with the interactivity of the internet. That was way back in 2010. And then Patty and I met three years later just at a chance meeting at a charity gala where I live. And she was the keynote speaker and it, it didn't start out well at first. She was a little <laughs> skeptical, it was a little rocky, but uh, we eventually have this amazing friendship now and it's, it's really quite something. And eventually your teaming up led to the Absolutely. 2016 revelation of Danny's killer and eventually, uh, excuse me, of Jacob's killer and eventually finding his body. I know throughout the whole thing, Patty, you were writing a letter to Jacob. Ta I was. Talk about that. I, I started by, you know, how do you get through the holidays? And so I included Jacob in everything that our family did. So I was just right, dear Jacob, and I would catch him up on you know the kids his siblings growing up and and what we were doing to try and help find him and I, I wrote him in notebooks and on cocktail napkins and it was really disorganized but I, I I kept writing letters to Jacob and that became the the basis for the book and when Joy came along she started was 27 well it was at that point almost 25 years mm -hmm. later she started asking questions nobody was asking and it led to other victims coming forward and, and resolution. Wow. Do you feel like you're at peace now? Oh, we still carry Jacob in our hearts. And, um, you know, I miss who he could have become and all of that. But I also have met kids who did come home after long periods of time. So the hope is strong, carried our family for, for all of these years. And we now we hope for a safer, better, safer world for all children. And I imagine the biggest impact for you also going, bringing your story all the way to Congress, lobbying for um, Jacob's Act, which has now created the National Registry for Sex Offenders. That is huge, just so huge. It was a tool law enforcement needed because yeah. time is your enemy and it's like, who's in the area who's done this before? So it was a, it was a needed piece and we got support from all over the nation and, and um, people came together for children. It's, yeah. It was a unifying time, and I, I believe children deserve that. Yeah. Thank you for what you have done as a mother um, and just as a person in our community. Thank you for the difference you have made and know that thank you have you. made that impact. So thank, thank you, Joy, for joining uh, Patty in this book. And you can meet both of them at Changing Hands Bookstore in Phoenix tonight. They're going to have a book signing. You can also get your copy of Dear Jacob, A Mother's Journey of hope. Thank you for bringing Thanks. hope to all of us. Thanks so much. We'll be right back, Arizona.